What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game podcast. And in this moment, we're going to discuss the whole Milwaukee Bucks situation. It seems like they are going down a plethora of rabbit holes and they just have a lot going on. But before I continue to talk about that, I want to ask you guys to do me a huge favor, man. Hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you guys can get more of my future content. Thank you so much for the love and support. Back to the video. Where do I start with this? The Milwaukee Bucks, man, have certainly let me down. And um, I'm just going to call it like it is. I don't think that this is anything that Dame Lillard and Giannis suspected. I think that the thought of playing together sounds good. But I think in reality, playing together is not good for them. You know, that's just what I've been seeing. And I get it. You know, you, you look on paper and you think about the addition, but you can't forget the subtraction, which was Drew Holiday. And, you know, I've been just watching the Milwaukee Bucks all season and all season. I've just been seeing this body language that I just I just I think that is just more going on. You know, they're telling the media like we just we need to have fun. And I think that maybe the person they traded was that the fun guy was Drew Holiday, the fun guy, because you get Dame Lillard in there. You get Dame in there, right? Dame is a uh, low key guy quiet yes he raps but i feel like dame hart was set on miami and dame hart maybe is is aching from leaving portland because dame is one of those players he's happy when he's playing true to himself and i believe that you know the milwaukee trade hit him upside the head he probably didn't want to refute it because he had already crossed over into trade me territories and now, you know, thinking the other side of that grass was green. Oh, it was green, all right. It was Milwaukee, <laughs> Milwaukee Bucks green. But I just feel like in reality that he isn't happy, man. And I think that it's affecting the locker room. I think that, you know, Giannis is feeling it. Because you hear the players are coming out saying, you know, we, we're, we're having fun when Giannis is cracking dad jokes. Or Giannis is, you know, talking about chicken or Taco Bell or Oreos and milk that he hadn't had until he moved to the United States. And you just don't see that Giannis. But you know why? Because one rotten apple spoils all the rest of the apples. And I'm not saying this in a bad way. I don't think that Dame, Dame Dollar is a negative person. I think that if you're not happy, people care. And if people care, they, can, they can't focus on themselves the way they want because you're a part of the organization. And that's just what I've been seeing from afar. You know, maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe you guys you know think otherwise feel free to drop your comments but let's get into this report and this is from yahoo sports where it says the bucks have endured a season from hell is there hope for better days ahead and that i agree you know with the coach changing you know to doc rivers that's a whole situation on itself i think doc rivers is in over his head and i think that doc is you know it sounded good to him maybe he thought he was doc of old and what i'm noticing with the whole doc rivers uh trend you know as he continues to get these jobs man and i see you know players come out and speak against doc rivers i just think that he's a guy that people quickly get tired of i think that you know his voice has worn thin and i just look at the difference right We're, this is going to tell us everything let's see how the clippers function in round one against dallas mavs you know with with tyloo that's going to tell us everything because doc rivers had the clippers before and he had the 76ers he did have a good stint with the celtics but let's look at the milwaukee bucks the 76ers and the los angeles clippers all these three one leads that he's blown i just feel like the players just play for themselves and when you don't have a coach that you thoroughly respect even though he played in the league you can still be a soft guy and i don't think that doc rivers is you know a a, a weak man but from afar i just don't see the alpha in him I, I think that you know it can get bland it can get boring he has a scratchy voice he has a bald head that's really not bald it's just certain things you look at besides his voice and i'm only speaking if i was a player you know like how would i feel with this guy around because it's a certain it, there are certain coaches that bring it out of you and i don't think that's doc rivers i don't and now it makes sense why all these NBA players or, you know, former NBA players came out and, you know, spoke up against it. In a span of weeks, this past fall, the Milwaukee Bucks traded for Dame Dollar and signed two-time MVP Giannis to a three-year contract. Now, guys, we do know that they acted out of desperation by signing Dame Dollar 
and ex because they just wanted to extend Giannis and keep him happy. Well, Giannis, be careful what you ask for, man, because they did it for you. And now that it's not working, you know, you're unhappy. You know, you're just not happy. And you had Drew Holiday there, man. And guess what? All of the joy, all of the defense that he brought to the game, that's now on the Boston Celtics. So imagine, uh, you know, Giannis sitting back looking at the Celtics' success. He's sitting back looking at that and it's killing him because you guys know, like I know, that Drew Holiday was the key piece. If they were to plug in Drew Holiday right now because of his hustle and bustle, his, you know, the way he guards the best player, takes the load off of everything, Dame Dollar and uh, Giannis, they're having to do the work to compensate the absence of Drew Holiday. And that's why they're unhappy, you know what I'm saying, especially on the court. Now, that Drew Holiday is doing his thing with the Boston Celtics, gearing up to probably make a finals run and, and at least make it to the big stage. Man, that got to hurt. On top of that, speaking of her, Giannis left calf strain that he strained on Tuesday. You know, it's it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Not only this, you know, you're injured now. You know what I'm saying? You got all this stuff. You got the coach change. You got damned all over there being depressed, which we will get into. And then on top of that, you hurt yourself. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm rooting for Giannis to, you know, come back. I know that, you know, they're probably going to rest him, you know, the first round of the playoffs. But maybe it'll give Dame Dollar a chance to adjust to running the team on his own. You know what I'm saying? And we could see what comes from that. But anyway, let's get into more of this whole Dame Dollar situation, you know, where, you know, he's been facing his own adversity. You got Dame Dollar out here saying that, you know, he's depressed. You guys see what I mean? Like, if you... Think about your work environment every day, right? If you guys are just going to work just to go to work, which, you know, most of us have to, it, the, you know, the bare minimum you would want is for your work environment to be every bit of what you, you know, dream of. You know what I'm saying? And when I mean dream, I mean just happiness, peace. You got Dame Dollar out there who goes from, you know, Portland, which is really right up the street from Cali. So he was back and forth from Cali a lot. You know, he had good energy there. He was the man of that town, that city. And then you go to share the stage with a superstar who literally is Wisconsin. You know, the whole Milwaukee, the face of it is Giannis. So you go there, on top of that, you're going through a mean, ugly divorce. You know what I'm saying? Like for whatever happened, you know, with his situation, with his, you know, with his wife, you know, hey, you know, things happen in life, but it hasn't, it's been weighing, you know, on Dame Lillard's conscience. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, he's divorced now from the mother of his three kids. Even based off this report, it says, meanwhile, Lillard revealed to Yahoo Sports that the trade coinciding with a divorce from the mother of his three children has been the hardest transition in my life, all things considered. So that's what I'm telling you guys, man. That thing is uh, weighing on him. You don't even hear Dame Dollar dropping his music like that. You know, normally around this time or throughout the year, we'll hear a few songs. But when you're not in the right headspace, you can't perform even off the court. I remember one report came out where, you know, Dame Dollar was saying like, hey, you know, all I do is play my game. And if I'm playing devil's advocate, I think that Dame Dollar really wanted to be traded to Miami. He is tight, super tight with Bam. And guess what? That's where he wanted to be. Could you imagine Dame Lillard in Miami? He fits the scheme. He does. He fits the scheme. Dame time would have been crazy in miami and on top of that guys like his music would have been crazy all of the artists that go through miami on a regular man like i could see dame dollar really being happy there but guess what the portland trailblazers snubbed him sent him to milwaukee and this is exactly probably what they wanted deep down you know he did his due diligence but hey they didn't really want to let dame dollar go but what can you do man he stayed loyal as he could and I just feel like all of this as a combination, man, starting with Dame Dollar is why this season is going the way it's going because Giannis is with his family. He's ready to play basketball. And I get it. They say, leave your personal issues at home. But hey, this is a, this is a team. And these players really care about each other. So because of all of this, I have to lean on the fact that Doc Rivers just really isn't the guy for this team. You're gonna need somebody that can bring great energy respect from the players and that may happen this off season or the worst Giannis could request a trade what do you guys think you know i don't know i'm just trying to play devil advocate here and, and cross-examine like what's 
really going on and i believe that everything i said definitely holds weight you know what i'm saying meanwhile you see your boy drew holiday he goes on and literally reaches a four-year 135 million dollar extension out of these four years i believe that the celtics will win a championship i hope it's this year for the most part because they just seem to be firing on all cylinders but four years at 135 million dollars that's what he got out of this situation and on top of that he's happy he's super happy playing with um you know the uh, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, you know, they didn't let him know he was going to be traded. He found out over the, you know, like he found out when we found out, you know what I'm saying? So I'm super happy with Drew Holiday because in a way they got off of him to make Giannis happy. And now Giannis is miserable. So be careful what you ask for because you just may get the short end of the stick. What do you guys think about this? Celtics fans, Bucks fans, weigh in, give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns. Drop them in the comment section. If you guys found any value to this video, all I ask you guys to do is hit that subscribe button and like this video. Thank you so much for the love and support. Like always, let me know how you charge the game. Peace.